Hey everybody, Dano here from Everyday's Turkey Day, and today I'm going to be giving you a review on Black Hammer Secret Origins by Jeff Lemire and Dean Ormstrom. This is the first trade paperback, and it collects the first six issues. And now what Black Hammer is, is it's a superhero book, but it is a superhero book similar to what Watchmen is, in that it is in its own universe. Um, a lot of the characters are based on characters that have already exist from, you know, like DC or Marvel, uh, such as there's a character who is similar to Shazam. Uh, there's one that's similar to Martian, uh, Martian Manhunter. There's another one that's similar to Raven from Team Titans uh, and another one that's similar to Captain America. And you also have like a 50 sci-fi robot named Walkie Talkie in here. And what happened is that uh, there was an event where all these superheroes uh, were fighting some sort of big bad guy and there was you know like a huge flash of light and all of a sudden they got transported to a farm and you know if you've ever read Jeff Lemire before you know uh, farms and isolation is you know one of those big themes in his work uh, but anyway so they get transported to this farm and then they become sort of like a dysfunctional family uh, because they can't leave the farm or the town uh, that they're in um, cause there is other people, uh, where they're at, but for some odd reason, uh, they're pretty much trapped where they are and they don't know why. And they, they don't really know how they can get home. Um, and the thing that I like about this too, is that each issue goes through one of the main characters backstories and gives the character more depth and more character development, uh, similar to what Watchmen did, um, when, you know, they did like Ozzy Mandeus' backstory, uh, Silk Spectre's backstory. You know, I mean, if you read that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, this story, it's, it's very well written. Um, all these characters are really interesting. It's great writing. Um, I really dig the artwork too. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. And even though it's a superhero story, it's a very human story too that kind of deals with, you know, many many different uh subjects uh one of the most prominent probably being feeling like an outsider um but yeah i'd, I'd say definitely if you're into you know superhero comics definitely pick this up uh you'll probably like it it's it's a different take on the superhero genre and it's really good so if you read it let me know what you think and yeah have a good one peace